This is the Pearson Edixel IL Mathematics, um, Pure Math 1 from June 2022 paper. In this video, we're looking at question nine, trig graphs. Okay. Right, figure four, which is this over here, shows a part of the graph of the curve of the, of the sine graph, y equals sine x. So it's just a normal sine graph, no adjustments have been made to it. It's given that sine A equals P and A is between zero and 90 degrees. So A is, uh, is, under, nine, is under, 90 under 90 degrees. Okay, state in terms of P. In terms of P just means that you'll have um, some, something with an A on one side of the, and something, something P with P's in it on the other side of the equal sign. So we have the question nine. Uh, a, I is two sine 180 minus A, and you want it in terms of P, and it's given that sine A is equal to P. Okay. Well, Hmm. Well, this is a reduction thing. So 180 minus A, we can reduce it to its um, under 90 degrees angle using the quadrants. So if um, we use I say a sticker, a cost diagram, I use I say a sticker just to go in order. 180 minus A is in the second quadrant. So sine is positive in this quadrant. So our um, sine is uh, sine of a is just going to be positive. So immediately we can reduce this. It'll be two times sine a. It reduced to its under ninety degrees angle here. There we go. That's the exact same thing as this one. Um, well. It's uh, not a correct <laughs> drawing of that. It would be more like exactly the same as taking 180 minus this. <laughs> okay, um, good. So uh, sine A is equal to P. So therefore we have two times P. That's number I. I, I. Okay. Sine of um, A minus 180 degrees. So this one, mm, well, uh, the way I draw this using my cost diagram is I take a look at if we had uh, this because it's backwards. So if we had a acute angle A under 90 degrees, it'd be here. And then I minus 180 from that gets us down to there, negative that's minus 180. Okay. So we end up in our cost diagram in the third quadrant, and that one is 180 plus theta. But we also know that it would be um, theta minus 180 is also correct. And this one, tan is positive. So we, that means that sine is negative. So it's just negative sine A. It's reduced to negative sine A. And therefore, sine A is P. So it's negative P. Good. Number I, I, I. Let's go back and see what that was. It was 3 plus sine of 3 plus sine of 180 plus A. So uh, 180 plus A, we can see, is still in this quadrant. So it's the same thing. So it's simply equal to 3 minus sine A, because it's the same as the previous question. Okay, which is three minus P. Easy, easy, easy. Nice. This both times ended up in the third quadrant. Three minus P is for I, I, I. Right. Number B wants us to sketch the graph of y equals sine 2x onto this uh, same figure four. 
figure four is labeled. Uh, this was on page 27, okay. Um, so let's do that first. So just to, we're trying to sketch why, this was y equals sine x is drawn already, and we need to sketch y equals sine 2x. Well, we know that this b factor is squished the graph by a factor of two. So if our baby sine was to 360 degrees, uh, this is going to be everything, all these x's are going to be divided by two. Divided by two. Remember, anything connected within this brackets is counterintuitive. So it's the opposite of what you think. So it's not times by two, it's divided by two. Okay. We divide everything by two. We divide everything by two. So this, if we're doing pink, this would have been, um, this would have been 180. This would have been 360. This would have been 90. This would have been 270. Um, that's zero again on the other side, 90, 180, 270, 360, all in the negative. And it wants you to sketch the new graph, grab a different color. So we're doing y equals sine 2x. Oh, that's the wrong tool. Let's try this one, green, okay. So now we're going to halve each of those. So half of 90 is 45, which will be about here, 45. Half of 180 is 90. Okay. Half of, um, oh, where are we? So we did 45, 90. Next one was 270. 270 divided by two is um, 135. 135 is where it comes down. So we just, let's keep up with, what have I done here? 45 is the turning point. 90 is where it um, starts to come down. So where it, it crosses, we are, that's the 180. That's the 180. That's the 90. Then we need 270. 270 will be where it turns again. And our new 270 divided by five is 135. Ah, there we go. And then we get, uh, goes back up to there. And so it continues like this. So this would be um, 275. And it ends. Okay. Hmm. Something's gone wrong. Hang on. Let me start again. Okay. So 45 and then half of 180 is 90. And we have the, um, Half of 360 is 180. 180 is already there. Okay, it ends at 360. So let's join the dots here. So it, it, sine graph goes same shape, up, down, up, down, continue the shape, joining the dots. I just halved every, every significant point. And then we have to do the same to the left. So we half halfway between every significant point. And it goes up and it's been squished. Oh, that one's way too high. There we go. To there, to there. <laughs> Join, dot the dot. And okay, so we finished in. Up, and there we go. So this is sign. 2x. This is uh, a sine graph that's been squished horizontally by a, fa a factor of 2. Number C. Uh, hence, find in terms of A, the x coordinates of any points in the interval of 0 to 180. So we're looking at 0 to 180, which is um, here. 
0 to 180. And uh, in terms of a x only, any points from 0 to 180 where our sine 2x is equal to p. Well, we want where our graph, our green graph, is equal to p. So we want, this was number c, sine 2x equal to p. Okay, go back to uh, our previous question and we saw that it was given that sine A is equal to P. If, uh, if sine A is equal to P and sine 2X is equal to P, that's an X. Then uh, it stands to reason that A must be equal to 2X. So A is equal to 2X, so we can go back and use this information. Right, so the question is ask us to find in terms of A, so A can be in the answer, the X. So what is X equal? And well, in terms of A, X can be equal to, um, if we divide both sides by two here, then X can be equal to A over two. But that's not the only answer. So that, that's correct, but it's not the only answer because we were looking within the region of X being between zero and 180. Okay, so on our, on our on, on, uh, graphically it's here, you can see it graphically, but on, on the diagram, uh, on our a sticker diagram, a cost diagram, um, we're looking at, uh, between 0 and 180, so that's these two. And so we've missed the, we've only done the first quadrant. We've missed the second quadrant. We still need to do that. So x is equal to a over 2, but it's also, um, we had our original a equal to 2x. So 2x is also equal to 180. Remember when we, we always keep the, um, the two next to the x because it affects the period of the of the new function. So 180 um, minus a, okay, as well. So 2x was equal to 180 minus a, not just uh, 2x was not just equal to a, but it was also in the second quadrant, which is 180 minus a, all right. Uh, how are we? So we divide all three by two. And we get x equal to 90 minus um, a. Okay. 90 minus a. Uh, oh, it's just looking at the answer I wrote down here. So it was, we can also just leave it in the form 180 minus a over two. Right, that completes number nine. It was, uh, nine was trig graphs, trig graphs. Fantastic. Lots going on here. Good.